Hey guys, this is Abhishek and welcome to my channel or video tutorial. So today I'm going to talk about the radio buttons within the Shiny application. If you have seen my previous video where I have talked about how you can use the text input in the Shiny dashboard. So the code is written over here that I have used in my previous video where we were we had the requirement of giving some of the text inputs to our application and then we wanted to just print the application and print the same stuff uh, in on the main screen so if you have not seen that's how the uh, application is looking like so if i am asking what is your project maybe p001 then it is written over here and then the project name is shiny web app development it is coming over here and the technology you are using is our our programming so that's a very basic application just to show you how you can really use the text objects and get the output or handle the output all right in this video we will going to talk about what you can do to uh, get the radio buttons so radio buttons is again a very similar to the text input so that is radio buttons it's the same uh, name which is very intuitive and then you need to specify id like you have done for other objects so maybe here in this case let's specify the lst location and then let's specify the text for this which is what is your location and then let's write it within the choices now we want to give choices to the user based on which the user can select it so maybe we can say off site or on site so whether the location is off site or on site okay i think we are pretty much put here while specifying the ui parameters uh, let's save it now let's handle the input which is being given to the user and print it to the screen so for that let's handle it with the same output uh, function which is a reactive one and uh, we'll use the location and then specify the reactive function parameters and saying render text and input dollar location you can save it and then go into the ui and within the main panel just to print it saying again text output and then the location so this location is nothing but the one which we have specified over here which is saying that it is part of the output so let's save it over here put a comma so because we are specifying additional parameter to it so let's save it and let's try to run the app if we run the app we get the two different options either we are on site or off site so that is getting selected or changed based on your selection on site is now and if I enter project code same stuff will work properly project name is shiny web app dev and our programming all right so everything is working fine and expected as it is a um, couple of things you may want is uh, maybe first thing is about uh, a default selection by default if you have observed it has come on the off site as it was the first value and we can change it but if your requirement maybe for your business reasons that one particular value should be selected maybe here in this case let's say on site then we can do that uh, default selection as well as many times we have the requirement that it should not come like a vertical fashion or a vertical layout but should be kind of a horizontal so you have the parameters to do that so if we go back and put a question mark so let me first stop this and put a question mark and saying radio buttons it will show you the different parameters so input id is what we have specified here label we have specified this as a label choices we have specified choices over here and then the selected option so selected basically says that which value you want to select first or second 
all right so let's go ahead and specify the additional parameters and we will first use the selected as it is mentioned over here the initially selected value if not specify the default to the first value so select it and let's specify the value which we want it to be selected by default so selected is on side is what we want so we'll hit save and then we'll click on the run app okay let's see this all right now you can see the on site is by default selected because that is what we provided as part of the input default input right, let's close this and uh, let's choose the next parameter which is inline so inline is saying if it is true render the choices inline that means horizontally so let's try to make it in line is equals to true let's save this stop the previous app and run the app again so now you can see we are getting the uh, horizontal layout or values are listed horizontally if we have like multiple values that's a good use of the application layout so that's pretty much all I wanted to discuss in this video about uh, these different options that you have uh, within the radio buttons and how you can use it efficiently with the help of both UI and server. And I'll meet you in the new video with a new topic.